Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to go through my entire Jade Summer collection. And yes, I have quite a few. So I will not, of course, be doing a complete flip through of every single book, but we'll just look at a few pages out of each. I will leave a link down below to each one of these books in case you are interested in purchasing one or two of these books. Um, I know there's probably very few of you out there that either has not heard of Jade Summer or does not have one or many of their books. So I just thought it would be fun to see my collection. Let's start with the smaller books. This is one of the more recent books that they brought out and I got, and it is the Mini Mandalas book. Just a real cute little book to take on the go. And then we have the 100 Magnificent Mandalas book. Some of these are easier. Some of them are a little bit more intricate. Does anybody else have a problem? Those of you with, you know, some Jade Summer books, do you have a problem with them bending over on the right side? It's like they don't lay flat, and it drives me crazy. I have tried flattening these books out. I have tried a number of things, and I cannot get them to lay flat. So when they're in my bookcase, I'm having a problem with them. <laughs> Okay, let's get on to the grayscale coloring book. This is my favorite book out of the entire collection. This one and then the next one, the um, uh, second grayscale book that they came out with, the Chibi Girls. I really am hoping they do come out with more grayscale books. And from what I hear, they will be so... These are just so adorable, and if you want to get into grayscale coloring at all, Jade Summer's grayscale books would be the place to start. I mean, they are just so adorable, and the grayscale, I mean, all you have to do is go over them with alcohol markers, and they look great. They're just so adorable. Okay, and then we have the second Chibi Girls Grayscale, and this is a two-in-one where it has repeats of the one I just showed you in the front, and then Chibi Girls 2 line art book was made into Grayscale also. So this is two books in one. I am currently coloring one in here. And again, my other favorite out of all of their books. All right, the other grayscale book they have out is Vampires. And again, like all of Jade Summer's books, there are two copies of every picture. They do have black background, or back, um, the back side of the page is black. And they are on Amazon paper. But again, really nice, easy to do grayscale. The last grayscale book that I have of theirs, and I don't think there are any more than these, is the Light and Dark Fantasy. Again, really nice grayscale book. And then we have the line art books. Here is the Chibi Girls. So this is like the grayscale, only this is just line art. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. Of course, there was a person walking two big dogs outside, and she had to go crazy. Um, here is Chibi Girls Volume 2, another line art book. So you've seen the, the one of this in the grayscale that I colored. So these are so cute too. Then we have another Chibi's Girl. This one is Chibi Girl's Horror. 
be cute if they made this into grayscale also. And then we have Kawaii Girls. I am really hoping they make these. There's two Kawaii Girl books, and I'm really hoping they make these into grayscale. Also, kind of heard from Nick that they may possibly be doing that. There's one I colored. Okay, and then the second one, this one came out not too long ago, is Kawaii Fantasy. Again, another one. I hope they eventually make into grayscale. Then we have the Princess Coloring Book. Another cutesy one. Whoa. See, again, it just, it folds and I, it rolls and I can't get these flattened out. Here's one I did. Then we have Anime Coloring Book. So for you anime lovers, this would be a good book for you. And then we have the Unicorn Coloring Book. A lot of unicorn lovers out there. I am one of them, and they're so cute. I thought I colored one out of here, but I can't find it right now. Then we have Cute Witches. I thought, too, this would be another really cute one for grayscale. So adorable. Great one for Halloween, right? Then we have a dinosaurs. And again, so cute. And we have cute fairies. Another awesome one for grayscale. Rather than some of the books they've been coming out with lately. I know not too many people are real happy with some of the books they're coming out with lately. And then we have Fairies. A little more detailed than the other one. I am working on one in here with... Started this quite a while ago. I am working with a marker background and then I'm going over it with colored pencil and trying to blend out. I have to get back at that one. Beautiful flowers. I got this one because it has real big pictures in it and I thought, oh, this would be great to practice with my chameleon markers. Do some blending in here. Okay. And then we have Flower Girls. If you want to practice like the face, try to get some skin tones down and, and see what you can do with that. Or hair too. Springtime Flowers. I'll have to get this out now that I think spring has finally hit. <laughs> Flowers for beginners. Again, another one that I thought I could test out some color palettes on and play with my chameleon markers, things like that. Some nice, easy, simple pictures to color. Patterns for beginners. Of course, you know me with my patterns and designs. I had to get this one. <laughs> Another fun one. 
then we have an, um, a mandala coloring book for kids. So these are real simple type of mandalas. Again, just real simple, fun book. Stress-free type of book to color in. And then I have Beautiful Birds. This is a beautiful book. Lots of different birds. As you can see, many of them are landscape. The vast majority of them are landscapes. So. Secret Jungle. I think they have a couple more that are real similar to this. I think I have one in a digital form, PDF. Much more detailed picture. Is that kind of bright? Maybe I'll bring you down just a tad. Let me zoom you in just a little bit. Whoops, sorry. I have it on focus rather than rather than zoom. Now I guess that's too much. Let me try to refocus you. See, that's what I get for trying to adjust. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. And then we have a fantasy coloring book. Let's take it back out. I think that was in a little too close. All right. Another line art book. And I don't even have a light on. This is just the light that's coming through the patio door and it's really foggy out, so it's definitely not bright in here. <laughs> here is Dragons. I did have a request from a subscriber to color something out of this. As you can see, these are very, very detailed pictures. I may do that one out of here. Definitely will be a multi-part <laughs> picture to color. And Ancient Egypt. Another more detailed picture. Or I should say book, not picture. Yes, there are more. <laughs> Grim Fairy Tales. Again, a more detailed line art book. And then a fantasy collection. This is volume two, and I don't have volume one. I thought I did, but this has four books in one. So if you don't want to get them separately, you can get one of these books that contains four different books. Again, very curved book, and I just... So yeah, if anybody has any tips to get these books flattened out, I don't know if this is the way they were stored or what, but I thought Amazon did print on demand, so I can't see that you know they were sitting on shelves or anything, but yeah, they're very, very curled books, and it's driving me crazy. Then I have the love book. Another real cutesy type of book, a more simple book. Great for Valentine's Day. Then we have Springtime Animals, another book I should get out now that spring has hit. More detailed book again. But really cute. Cute, cute pictures in here. Oh, 
And then Easter coloring book. I like the fact they actually came out with um, an Easter book. And this is coloring books for beginners. So these will be easier pictures. Have to get this one out too and color a picture for Easter. Okay, then we have the Christmas books. This is Christmas Animals. Aren't <laughs> you cute? I mean, they're just so adorable. Any kind of animal you can imagine's in here. <laughs> Christmas Mandalas. Love this book. I know I colored a few in here. Here's one. Another one. Here's another one. Then we have Christmas flowers. Yes, we're almost done. <laughs> another book I really like for Christmas. Nothing too hard. They just look really nice when they're done. I know I did a few in here too. There's my Santa Claus. And then last but not least is the Christmas Coloring Book Volume 2. So I don't know if they have a Volume 1. We'll have to look. Another real cutesy book. Definitely one I will have to get out this next Christmas or even for Christmas in July. I'm sure there are some color alongs that are going to be happening in July for Christmas in July. So that is my entire Jade Summer collection. You think I have enough? <laughs> there are a number of them out there that I did not buy, I did not care for. Um, some of the books with wording in, I'm not a big one with coloring in words for some reason or another. Um, but yeah, I have quite a few. I did, I never did count how many I had. I'm afraid to do that. Um, but yeah, I just love their books. And like I said, as colorists, I don't think there's probably a one out there. <laughs> I believe, you know, all of you have heard of the Jade Summer coloring books. They have such a vast line of no matter what you want to color, they probably have a coloring book out on it. Um, so I hope you j enjoy just seeing my collection of Jade Summer books. I'm sure there's many of you out there that have many of these books. Um, I know of a few of you who have probably j just about as many as I do. So, fess up. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right. If you enjoyed seeing this collection and this video, please hit that like button. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, happy coloring. Bye.